English by the Nature Method, Chapter Thirty, the Thirtieth Chapter, at the hotel. Mister Miller, we are now in the street where our hotel is. All the buildings we have passed the last three or four minutes are hotels. This part of the town is well known for its many cheap hotels. It's called Bloomsbury and is situated between the West End and the city. It's an advantage for travellers to live at a hotel in this part of London because they can get to the big shops and the cinemas and theatres of the West End quickly, and they also have the advantage of being able to get to the offices in the city easily. That was our that. Was why I chose I chose this hotel the first time I came to London. I had to choose between several hotels situated in different parts of the town, and I thought this the best one to choose. A good friend of mine had recommended it very much, and since then I have recommended it myself to people who were going to England, as it is a good hotel and very cheap too. In this way, I have become good friends with the hotel keeper. But here you see the hotel. They went inside, and the hotel keeper, who was sitting in his office, greeted Mister Miller, saying, "Good evening, Mister Miller. I'm glad to see you in London." Then he greeted the three young men with the words, "How do you do, gentlemen? I'm glad to see you too." To Mister Miller's question about the rooms, he replied, "Your two rooms are ready, Mister Miller. A single room for you, and a double room for your three friends. I put an extra bed into the double room, as you asked me to." Too. To the three others, he explained, "Mister Miller." Wanted me to make it as cheap as possible, and because we are good friends, I agreed to put you all in a double room and then give you a cheaper price. I have never agreed to do that before. Before, I, therefore, I must ask you not to speak about it to other people, Mister Miller. We had better go to our rooms now to wash, and then we should like to have something to eat. When is dinner? Hotel keeper. Dinner is served between seven and eight thirty. While we are speaking of meals, breakfast is served between eight and ten. And lunch is served from twelve to two. If you'd like a cup of tea early in the morning when you get up, you can easily have one. But perhaps you do not want to get up early while you're here. What do you say, gentlemen? Do you want to get up early or late in the morning, Mr. Miller? We want to see as much as possible while we're here. Therefore, we shall get up early in the morning, Hotel Keeper. Then you can have an early cup of tea if you like. Many Englishmen like to have that. Brown. That would be a good idea. We should like to live as far as possible as the English do. Tell keeper, all right. Now I will call the porter and tell him to take your bags up to your rooms. They were glad to see that they had got a nice large double room with hot and cold running water. Wood. Well, this is going to be our home for the next two weeks. It's nice here, isn't it? So yes, and a nice hotel keeper too. I think it. I think it. Very nice of him to give us a cheaper price because we are all three in one room when he has never agreed to that before. Brown went to the window and was surprised when he looked out of it. Well, I would not think this was London. I thought that we should have had a view from our window of streets full of people and that there would be high buildings in all directions. Come and have a look at it. Wood, yes, I must say this is very surprising. How beautiful the view is! It's no wonder that the three friends were surprised at the view from their window. It was a garden with tall trees, and everything was so quiet that it was difficult for them to understand that they were in London, the largest city in the world. Brown, I think we shall sleep well tonight. It's so quiet here, and I must say that I am a little tired after having travelled all day. So yes, I am both tired and sleepy. Wouldn't it be a good idea to go to bed shortly after dinner? And then get up early tomorrow morning. I think Mr. Miller will agree with us on that. And he was right. An hour and a half later, they were all in their beds, happy but tired.